only have a few days in Disney World, how can you make sure you get the most out of a short trip when there's so much to do? We've got the list of our top must-dos and the things you cannot miss on this episode of All Ears TV. Don't move. Margot Jordan here on All Ears TV with tips galore. With limited time and so many restaurants, theme parks, and entertainment at Disney World, the options can get a little overwhelming. It's hard to know where to start when you only have two and a half days to explore. But fret no more. We pulled together a list of fantastic must-dos for your trip to the most magical place on Earth. If you only have a weekend at Disney World, you'll want to maximize your time. If you only have two days in the parks, you might want to visit Disney's less crowded parks. Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios tend to be the most crowded on weekends, so you may want to make one or both of your weekend parks Epcot or Animal Kingdom. Also, park pass reservations fill up quickest at Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. It's a tad bit easier to pop into Animal Kingdom or Epcot on a whim. See more about how to make those park pass reservations right here. If you're gonna accomplish one thing at Animal Kingdom, it should be Flight of Passage. It's an absolutely breathtaking attraction made with some incredible cutting edge technology. Arrive at Pandora, the world of Avatar, in the late morning to avoid the morning masses and check this awesome attraction off your must-do list. Kilimanjaro Safaris is another great one to hit in the morning as you may see more animals. In Epcot, the weekends are very popular for eating and drinking around World Showcase. Start right when that section of the park opens for lower crowds. When Epcot festivals are in full swing, the weekends do tend to be a bit more crowded as many locals visit then. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention Frozen Ever After. It's one of the most popular attractions at Epcot and a must do for many. The Frozen attraction is fairly new and usually has a long line. Head to Frozen Ever After in the late morning or early afternoon for a trip to Arendelle. But if Disney princesses aren't your thing, head to the always thrilling test track instead. No matter which park you're visiting, you'll want to prioritize the rides you want to ride ahead of time. Right now, Fast Pass isn't running at Disney, so you'll want to keep an eye on wait times and hit those popular rides when the lines are lowest. In Magic Kingdom, plan your day around riding the top rides with the longest lines if they're on your must-do list. Splash Mountain and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. In Hollywood Studios, you'll want to know all about getting a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. Get your tips right here! <laughs> when parks are crowded, we'd suggest arriving early to get a few things in before the bulk of the crowds arrive later in the morning and midday. Keep an eye on park hours as Disney has been constantly changing and extending hours in recent months to match crowd levels and park capacity. As of now, the theme parks have shortened their hours for some weekends. To make up for lost time, we suggest that you head to Disney's Boardwalk or Disney Springs for some shopping and dining. Plus, you don't need to pay for parking, admission, or make a park pass reservation at either place. Oh, and the best part? Disney Springs just extended their hours on the weekend. We usually suggest staying at one of Disney's resorts when visiting the theme parks. In this case, we suggest that you try out one of the Disney Springs resort area hotels. The resorts are usually a little less expensive than Disney World resorts on the weekend. They also offer the same park pass benefits as the on-property hotels, and you'll be pretty close to Disney Springs. You can stay out late and walk home without worrying about transportation. Our picks for Disney Springs resorts are Bee Resort and Spa and Hilton Orlando. Both are walking distance to Disney Springs and offer great amenities and a competitive price tag. You can pack in a lot of magic over the weekend. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Hopefully our suggestions have spurred some ideas and plans for your next getaway. We suggest making a Disney dream list of all the parks, shopping, and dining you want to accomplish over the weekend. Oh, and make sure that you allow ample time for a little relaxation by the pool too. 
What a list of must do's, don't you think? Do you think that we should add anything else to our list? Tell us in the comments below and be a part of the All Ears community. Oh, and another thing, are you subscribed to our channel? If not, hit that button to be in the know of all things All Ears. I'm Margot Jordan and I will see you soon. Bye.